Hey, my friends, how you doing? I'm Sean Thomas. I'm your host today. I'm excited to be live here in Munich to introduce to you the new BMW Connected Ride Com U1 communication system. Now I'm here with Matthias. Matthias, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing fine. Thanks. Great. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks. I'm very excited to be back in Germany. Now, Matthias, before we get started, could you tell us a little bit about what you do for BMW? Yeah, I'm head of the product management uh, team for accessories here at BMW Motorrad. And uh, John, it's an exciting position. Uh, we bring new products to the market. We see actually then the products later uh, with our customers. They uh, work with it and they enjoy the product. And for us, um, it's really a great experience to see how they work. And uh, so I enjoyed uh, the position a lot uh, in the past time. And today, we both want to show you this amazing new product. Now, communication systems are such, for me, an essential part of motorcycle riding. I, I love to listen to uh, books while I ride and listen to music while I ride and of course the ability to communicate with my pillion or another rider is really important for me. Are these things that you like to do as well? Absolutely and um, for me being able to talk while riding is really amazing. So when we do our uh, annual ride out uh, with the team from BMW Motorrad um, we always do this uh, with communication so we enjoy a lot uh, and uh, share the emotions when you ride in the landscape, you see something, you can point out something and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun but uh, it's also uh, important for us uh, because it's an added uh, safety as well. So you have, for example, if there is something on the street or if there's an accident, you can warn other people uh, that there is something going on. So for us, it's fun and it's safety and uh, yeah, it became a part of our uh, team ride out. Excellent. Now, um, I'm, I'm excited to see it. Do you have one in a box here? <laughs> yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Oh, this is the box. <laughs> yeah, it's the new uh, showroom box, and uh, I think it's really nice. Everything is in the box here, and um, I just so happen to have one mounted yeah, here. Yeah, you even have it on the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> on a helmet, so you can see here we have the U1 connected to a BMW helmet. Now, this um, can be mounted on different types of helmets. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is a universal system. So the U and the COM U1, actually in the name, stands for universal. And it fits to our BMW helmets. For our BMW helmets, we have also specific uh, communication systems available. But this universal one uh, fits to our BMW helmets as well. But it also fits to other brands uh, and to other brand helmets, yeah. This is very important for, for certainly for me and for my friends in the United States because we are not able to get or import BMW helmets into the US so we're forced to use helmets from other manufacturers. Yes. So the idea of having a BMW communication system that will allow us to take advantage of what normally would be integrated is, is, a, is a very nice feature. Now, this will work with other helmets. What about other styles of helmet, like a modular, for example? Yeah, I mean, it fits to all uh, actually styles. It fits to a full face helmet, to an open face helmet. So you can um, install it uh, with the parts that are in the box uh, to all these uh, kind of helmets, basically. Excellent. Now, communication, of course, is the point of this. And there's a couple different kinds of communication, and Bluetooth <laughs> is the one that we all know and love. Can you tell us a little bit about Bluetooth and how it works with this? Yeah, I mean, uh, Bluetooth uh, supports uh, actually uh, several standards. So it's a standard, and um, we use Bluetooth here in the system mainly uh, for the communication between uh, you and the bike and you and the passenger. So um, it uh, offers uh, actually the communication um, to the passenger. You can uh, enjoy the ride and you can talk about the ride with the passenger. So uh, Bluetooth is for us really important for such a communication system. One of my, um, the riders that loves to go with me is my daughter who's been oh. on the back of my bike <laughs> since she was seven years old. She has just turned 15 and a half years old. And she's already riding. That's exactly right. So <laughs> cool. <laughs> in the United States, when you turn 15 and a half, you can ride your own bike. And so she now has her own bike. And what's so great about that is with communications like systems like this, she and I are able to talk as she's riding and it's a great instructional tool because I can share with her riding techniques and ideas and she can ask me questions while we're riding on the bikes with this system. It's really, really nice and it's got a really good range too, yeah? Absolutely and uh, this is what I do often uh, with my, when I'm on a ride out with my friend for example, 
we are on uh, separate bikes and the range is uh, up to two kilometers. Wow. I think it's quite amazing. That's a long way. Tooth, yes. And uh, so you can use it also for bike to bike communication, not only to the passenger, but also to other bikes. So mm -hmm. I think it's a pretty uh, nice feature actually that we have there. You can also use it for music sharing, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I mean, especially when you're riding um, with a friend or a passenger, your wife uh, on the back, then um, you can share the music you hear from your phone uh, and you can enjoy the, the, the rider, the landscape, uh, listening to the same song. And uh, this is uh, always uh, really nice for us, uh, for my wife and myself, uh, when we ride. Uh, to enjoy uh, the, the, the time on the bike and listen to the same music. So I think it, this is also uh, my favorite <laughs> feature from the Comu One. Yeah. Now, fair warning for those of you that are sharing music with another, make sure that you both like the same music. <laughs> so, now, That's true. It's uh, <coughs> common for other people that you ride with to have a communication system, maybe from a different manufacturer. Will they be able to communicate with each other using this? Yeah. As Bluetooth is a standard um, for uh, communication, uh, also other uh, manufacturers are using Bluetooth. And so we are able to um, communicate uh, via Bluetooth uh, to other brands, yes. Fantastic. Now, Bluetooth connectivity is one, but connectivity <coughs> mesh is another. Mesh communication has become a really Absolutely. important and, and exceptional way of talking yeah. to other riders. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. I mean, mesh is really a cool feature. Um, you can communicate in the group uh, with all your friends riding with you. And um, the range increases up to eight kilometers. So uh, from the first bike to the last bike in the group, eight kilometers is quite a lot. Wow. And um, so it's really a, a, a nice feature uh, to enjoy the ride out, to see um, things that you want to point out to others. But it's also helpful, for example, in the city, um, as a group, when you come to intersection, it's a traffic light yeah. and part of the group crosses the intersection and others have to stop on red. Um, then you can just uh, yeah, communicate and say, yeah, we wait on the bus stop and uh, we will follow you. So it's uh, not only fun on the big tour, uh, but it's also a really helpful feature, for example, in the city. Now on the GS Trophy, for those of you that follow the trophy in 2020, we had communication systems with mesh capability and we would have riders, up to 12 of us in a group sometimes, and we were able to all communicate with one another, which was great. And if, like you said, we were able to be communicated to when there were obstacles or turns in the road, but also just having somebody there in New Zealand that knew the environment. I'd never been to New Zealand before. Yeah, me neither. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the ability for them to share with us, you know, this is what you're seeing, and this is the history, this is the geology that you're seeing. It was really a neat way to stay connected with everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why uh, we will use the um, communication system also on the this year's GS Trophy. So it uh, adds a safety to the whole um, event. And for us, it became a standard part actually uh, just to stay, like you described, just to stay in touch uh, and to have um, actually shared warnings. So it's uh, quite a nice feature, I think. Well, I will be at the GS Trophy 2022 in Albania. <coughs> I'll be one of your hosts. So among other things, I will let you know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> now, the ability to pair this, not just with other riders, but also with your phone, that exists too, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And I think it's a very interesting feature, especially for bikes without a TFT display mm. or, or maybe older bikes. Um, you c can connect the phone um, with your headset and uh, so you can also then listen to music and uh, communicate uh, to your friends. Mm. And um, you can also use uh, your digital assist assistant mm. from the phone. Mm. And um, so I think uh, this adds also uh, another uh, nice feature to the product. It's such a great feature is being able to um, tell my phone to make a phone call or to turn on music without actually having to push any buttons. And the idea of being able to pair through this in that way is yeah. very, very helpful. Now, this also allows you to use turn by turn directions. Yeah. So if you have a navigation um, app running on your phone, yes. for example, yeah. And this is also a nice feature, uh, for example, um, when you have a phone and you have our uh, BMW connected um, app, it will give you voice prompts for navigation and uh, you can then uh, hear the voice prompts in your helmet. So it's uh, even without the map uh, possible uh, to navigate through a city and um, it's an uh, easy feature uh, that uh, you can use then together with the uh, Commu One. 
Now, um, a, a relatively new but very cool technology on BMWs is the TFT display, which we're seeing on most bikes available um, now. And this comm system allows you to interface with that uh, TFT display. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, uh, when you have a bike like this here uh, with a TFT display, um, we always recommend uh, to connect actually your communication system or your smartphone with the TFT display because it's uh, much more convenient. You see actually what's going on. You see your address book, you see your playlist for music. You can also use the multi-controller on the bike and um, it's uh, much more uh, convenient and uh, easier to uh, operate the whole system. So you can control, for example, also the volume um, mm -hmm. without uh, the buttons on the helmet. And so it's a really nice feature uh, that uh, you can use then together with the TFT display, yes. Excellent. Now, <laughs> uh, one of the big questions that, that I always have for a communication system is battery life. Yeah. And of course, you want the system to last when you're out there using it. And also, in the case of my daughter, for example, she often forgets to turn off her comm system so that it will sit overnight while it's on and then we have to recharge it. How quickly can we recharge it and how effective is the charging? Yeah. I mean, the battery life uh, always depends on the usage. So mm. when you're a power user and you listen to music all day long and uh, have meshed and the uh, uh, battery uh, drains faster. But um, for me personally, from my experience, uh, when you're on a, on a day tour, uh, even with mu music all day long and uh, some mesh communication, uh, it uh, lasts for a normal day tour. Mm. But uh, let's say you need to recharge. Um, we have a cool feature, it's the um, quick charge mm. function. So that means, for example, at lunch when you decide uh, to um, charge the um, Commu One, 20 minutes uh, will give you an additional six hours of uh, Bluetooth communication and three and a half hours of mesh, and then you for sure have enough uh, actually battery for the rest of the day. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, this is very good information. I know you <coughs> out there online will have questions as well. In fact. I understand that we've gotten a few come through, so we're going to go ahead and take a moment to answer some of the more common questions that we've heard come through for us here uh, through Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. So the first one is from Barry Matherly, and uh, the question is, what systems does it mesh with, Cardo or Cena? If you build one that does both, that would be really something. What do you have to say to that? Yeah. Um our mesh uh, works uh, with uh, the Sena mesh system, mm -hmm. so it's compatible to the Sena mesh system, and um, so you can use it uh, together with other uh, Commu One system from BMW, but also with other uh, Sena system. But it's uh, not able to uh, talk to mesh system from Cardo. But you can use Bluetooth from say, yes, Cardo. of course. I mean, you can, like I said, you mm -hmm. can use uh, you can connect uh, via Bluetooth mm -hmm. uh, with others, but uh, the mesh function is really within Sena and BMW world. Excellent. All right, let's see if we have any more questions <laughs> here today. Up oh, here comes another uh, from Navy Slug on Instagram. I have a BMW System Seven helmet with built-in comms. Will this connected ride work here? It's a very yeah. good question. It's a good question, yeah, and it will. So uh, the BMW System 7 helmet and the built-in communication system is compatible to the Commu One. It's, I think, Excellent. a good uh, um, feature. Perfect. Yeah. All right, let's see if we have some more <coughs> questions. Oh, here comes another um, from Dianus um, Indexons, and I hope I said that right. Uh, does it have voice commands? And this is actually one that I can answer. So you can use this with voice commands. In fact, you can use it with two different types. It's got its own internal voice command system, and then you can also interface it with your phone and use your phone's digital voice messenger command system. So one or the other will work with the system. It's very nice. So um, let's see if we have any other questions coming up. Up oh, here we come from Axu350 on YouTube. Does it switch to private mode automatically from other riders when someone from your group answers a phone call? Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and what happens here, and first of all, yes. Uh, and uh, what happens here is when you get a call, when you are in a mesh group and you have a conversation with your friends and you get a call, it takes you off the mesh group. Uh, you can have your phone call um, privately, so nobody else will listen to your private phone call. And once you hang up and the phone call is uh, actually finished, it will automatically bring you back in the mesh group. 
So uh, it's no, no worries that uh, everybody else can listen to your phone call. Fantastic. <laughs> right, we have time um, for one more question from Anthony Mueller. Is it waterproof? Yes, it is waterproof. Um, I recommend uh, always to put the rubber lid on the charging uh, mm -hmm. plug. Uh, probably in uh, to protect the plug itself, but the device, the main device and the whole system is waterproof, yes. Fantastic. Well, we've got to answer a few of your questions. You've certainly answered plenty of mine, Matthias. Thank you so much. Thank you much. Sean. Yeah, it's good stuff. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed our presentation on the new comm system. I'm Sean Thomas. If you have questions about this, there's a couple ways you can answer them. We have a how-to series on YouTube, and you can take a look at that, and we'll talk to you about things like how to install the communication system communication system and other things. And you're always welcome to present questions to us. If you type them in, the right people will likely see them. And this is how we come up with new ideas and new products. And Mateus, that's, that's kind of what you do, yeah? Absolutely. Um, to bring up uh, ideas for new products, it's actually our daily job. And uh, I can guarantee you that we will continue to do this. Fantastic. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for watching. Again, thanks Mateus. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then. Yep. Bye bye.